Welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is my July outfit unboxing, which has been sitting around for a few weeks and I finally actually tripped over it uh, this week coming home from work. Um, so, <laughs> uh, because it was sitting in the hallway and I thought it was out of the way, but then I was stumbled in the door um, and tripped over it. But anyway, so yes, finally time to unbox it. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see what's inside. So the theme for the July Alcrate the Young Adult Box is Dark Reflections. And so we have this artwork of a mirror with a whole bunch of motifs like keys and swords. And I'm not sure if they're butterflies or moths. Um, they look, mm, it's hard to tell. Uh, but yeah, so Dark Reflections, that's the thing. Now, what do we have? in here under all the crinkly paper. Okay, first thing that we have is Twisted Enchantment Highlighter Set. So, featuring quotes from Where the Dark Stands Still, Juniper and Thorn, and For the Throne, these Twisted Enchantment Highlighters are perfect for both annotations and art and are filled with sparkling ink. Ooh, sparkling. Lovingly designed by Teresa Chen at Divine Literary. Okay, you know me, I love stationery, functional and pretty. Even if I have so much Alcrate stationery sitting on the shelf behind the camera that I haven't used, <laughs> that is a bit ridiculous. But sometimes I use it. The pens and the highlighters and the pencils I often use. So, okay, so they're big, thick highlighters. So, they supposedly have quotes on them. Can't see any quotes. Not on the green one anyway. Okay. This one says, do not look at the truth of me and then look away. So that's great. That's the blue one. Yeah, my green one doesn't have a quote on it. I wonder if that's a mistake. And there's a pink one in here that says, love made a monstrous things necessary. And it's got some paw prints and thorn branches so uh yeah i'm not sure why my green one doesn't have a quote on it um i'm just gonna scribble on here for a second oh yeah i can sort of sort of see the glitter in the ink that's nice so i have glittery sparkly highlighters i'm sure all those will come in use they're not going down there in the box so what else do we have in here um ooh. Spinning Silver Enamel Zipper Charm. Okay, I haven't actually read Spinning Silver yet. It is on my TBR shelf. I actually have a physical copy of it because I actually quite liked Uprooted and so I picked it up for that reason. So it's, of course, by Naomi Novik. This is Design with Love by No One Designs. And, oh, okay. So it's got a crown, an enamel crown, deck, which is white and silver, and then some sort of I'm not sure if it's supposed to be leaves or glitter or something in various colours of blue and silver, which seems to be the whole aesthetic of the book. So that's cute. That's to go on a zipper. So I have to find somewhere to put that. Interesting. Now, ah, ah, we have the latest in the collection of these uh, faux book notebooks i think so this is grim fairy tales once upon a time and it's sort of creamy beige and sort of foiled in green which is gorgeous so let me just open that so i've had like three of these so far i think this is the fourth one i think yeah so um yeah so it's essentially a notebook okay this is not lined um, and it has a design of, of apples and apple leaves down the bottom. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's got a, a ribbon bookmark and it's tucked into this leather case and there's even a little thing here to hold your pen. So that's nice. And Grimm's Fairy Tales, I have actually read Grimm's Fairy Tales. Uh, so very much, very like that. I tend to prefer lined notebooks, but maybe I should if I decide to take up doodling, maybe. 
Oh, so I think we are down to, oh no, there's something else in here. I was going to say, I think we're down to the book, but actually. Creatures and Creations, Percy Jackson. Oh, this is one of the metal, metal book. Mark series that they're doing this year. Hey, one I actually have read. I've read Percy Jackson. Can't remember whether I've read more than just the Lightning. I'm pretty sure I've read more than just the Lightning Thief, but I honestly can't remember. It's been a long time. Um, but yeah, Percy Jackson metal bookmark with it looks like is that a Pegasus trotting along the water. So that's very pretty. Very, very pretty. So these these bookmarks are great. I like them. Great deal. So now the book, which is Sleep Like Death by Kaylin Bayron. So Sleep Like Death, it's apparently a bit of a remanaging of Snow White. Um, essentially, Eve has been raised with her kingdom under... The threat of the knight, an evil sorcerer, um, and she has magic that allows her to create weapons from nature. Um, and so she's approaching her seventeenth birthday, but her mother, the queen, is is acting strangely and talking to this magic mirror. And then a messenger from the knight arrives, and uh, with information that uh, changes uh, everything for Eve. So and she has to make the choice of what she needs to do this gorgeous sort of poison green sprayed edges and this gorgeous gold foil and green cover um there's beautiful end papers as usual there uh beautiful artwork inside the dust jacket so gorgeous book and also ooh, beautiful black with green foiled uh hardcover for the poison apple so that's nice the other thing that I forgot to grab before the book was the uh, Perfect Pairings Collection Pin, which comes with every box this year. So this is the July one, and it is based on Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which I've heard many good things about, but also enough to know it's probably not my style. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised this is the pin for this particular theme. Um, and that is the pin there. So these are these slidey crossy ones, which I don't quite, honestly, it's a cool design, but I don't quite get the point of them because they're not actually like revealing anything. It's a bit weird. Anyway, um, so that was in the box as well. And then the last thing we have is the uh, newsletter, which is now also the spoiler card. Um, so this has got interviews and comparisons of the original covers um uh and like um challenges and and other book recommendations and then the at the back has uh the spoiler for august which is falling for the shadows every oh 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 Every August box will include a brand new addition to our Lord of the Rings inspired ceramic bowl collection designed by Janine Lecour. I love those bowls. Oh, because I've already got five. And so this will be the sixth one. Ah, I'm very, very excited. So because this box can only be a couple of weeks away now. So I'm really excited about that. That's so cool. Okay, so what is my favorite thing in this month's box Ooh, probably the journal even though i haven't actually used any of these journals yet because i'm trying to fill up the journals i have already started and i don't actually <laughs> use them as often as i should um although the highlighters are also handy and i also really like the bookmark this was a good box i'm very pleased with this box it's a very me kind of box so um but yeah i think also because i've actually read couple of these things i've read grimm's fairy tales and i've read percy jackson so i can actually say that i can't always say that about, <laughs> about some of these things but yeah probably the faux book journal uh faux leather book journal um 
which is really nice and this gorgeous green foiling so yeah um as always please like and subscribe um happy to chat books in the comments and i will see you again really soon bye